So Steve, cast that out and then let's have a look at this method that's proving so deadly. Right. Well, first things first, I've got a mixture of one mil and three mil softened down micro pellets. The reason for the two sizes is basically, I think it stops the fish getting preoccupied on one size. So if I only use one mils, they're only feeding on tiny particles. But by using one mil and three mil, it just gives them different size baits to sift for. And I think it increases the chance of one actually picking up my hook bait. So I've got them just wetted down. Yeah. Then I've got a little flat XA feeder. I've got a four inch hook length. Uh, 022 line, which is about nine pound breaking strain. Why is that so short as well, Steve? Well, the hook length. Yeah. Basically, because the way the method feeder works is the carp starts to suck in the bait off the feeder, so to speak. So you need to keep your hook bait nice and close. Yeah. It also creates sort of a maximum bolt effect. So I've got a short hook length, I've got a size 16 QM1, nice small hook. And then I've got a size 8, uh, just coarse pellet mounted on a little bait band. Does that, the fact that that's so much bigger than what you're feeding, is that just so it's Yeah, it's out. a standout hook bait and obviously I've been getting a few bream, so I'm hoping that by using a bigger hook bait I can try and avoid the bream and hopefully get the cart, which has been working so far. So when it comes to actually moulding the feeder, just a case of taking some micros, just, I just form like a standard base, then I take my finger, just form an indentation like so, place the, the 8mm pellet and the hook on top of the indentation, few more wetted down micros and it's job done. It's then a case of like, I can make up two or three feeders. Then once I come in, once I bring in, there's a little clip on top of the feeder. Yeah. So I've got a loop on the end of my main line and a tail rubber. So when I bring the other feeder in, I just pull the tail rubber up, unclip the loop, clip this one on, straight back out. I mean, it saves a lot of time. It gives you something to do while you're waiting for bites. It's just all about the speed. Yeah, it's, the more time in the water, the more chance you've got of catching a fish.